everybody welcome back to epic beauty fail i'm jessica on today's video we're just gonna do a quick and fun video uh i actually saw this on abadab's video or abadab's channel i think she filmed it back in october i was actually watching it this morning or last night i think maybe yesterday um anyway that's besides the point um it was a 30 random facts about me that you may not know and I was watching her video and I'm like, wow, that's really fun and interesting. It's a little bit different. Uh, so I figured, hey, you know what? I'm going to do that too. And what's funny is, is that there's a lot of things on my list that are actually very similar to Abadab's. So I almost think that some of these things are kind of a requirement in order to be able to do YouTube. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So I actually wrote down the list multiple times. There's the crossed out version. This is the version I'm going to be working off today. And you even have some crossing off there. And um, I think it was one other version of this, actually, because I was trying to, like, put the similar things together and put things that made sense together together. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, you'll hear in a minute some of the reasons why. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get into this. Go ahead and go ahead. Okay, let's go, Jessica. I don't know. I'm just being weird. Okay, so 20 random, I'm sorry, I put 20 because I was going to do 20 and I decided to go ahead and do 30. 30 random facts about me. Number one, uh, I am married to my husband, John. You guys have seen him on this channel before. If you've watched my channel at all, he does come in for like my get readies with me and uh, we do a face mask video every month together and um, he's just really overall very supportive. Um, if you don't watch any of my videos where I actually like uh, do any sort of makeup looks, you wouldn't have seen him, but he's at the very tail end of pretty much all of those videos. He gives me his feedback and lets me know what he, what he thinks of my looks. Um, but we've been married for 19 years. We've been together 21 years in April. We met in April of 1998. So 21 years in April we'll have been together. So married 19 of those. Um, he is everything to me. He really is. Um, anyway, he's one of those people that is kind to everyone. And on days when I can get very ornery and uh, just be like, well, just let them suffer that. Not like suffer, suffer, but like, um, you know, this person won't do this. Well, then they just have to suffer. They can't get it then if they won't go and get it kind of a thing. Uh, he's like, no, you know, I want to help them and blah, blah, blah. He, he really is one of the kindest and one of the most patient people I've ever met in my life. And I don't know where I'd be without him. So, but I, we actually met when I was 19. Uh, we got married when I was just about 21 years old, and that kind of leads me into number two. The second fact about me is we have two children. Um, my younger son has been on this channel. Um, his name is Nicholas. He is 11. He'll be 12 this year. And our older son is 19. He turned 19 in November, and he'll be 20 in 2019. His name is Neil. He has never been on this channel. Um... But he has been on my other YouTube channels. I'll talk a little bit about my YouTube channels here in a couple minutes. But I do have ch two children, and they mean the world to me as well. Um, if anything happened to any one of my three ch three boys, I was going to call them three children. Uh, if anything happened to any of my three boys, I don't know how I would manage. Um, my children and my husband mean the world to me. Uh, now, my younger son, Nicholas, he is on the autism spectrum. Uh, he, you, like I said, he's been on this channel a couple of times, um, and he is on the spectrum, but he is an amazing kid and I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, I shouldn't have started with these. I should have put these two at the end. Um, anyway, he is an amazing kid and he has overcome a lot of things. Every time we think he might be stalling in his progression, he makes a huge leap forward and, um, I'm just really proud of him. And I'm really proud of my 19 year old as well. My, my son, Neil, he, um, he's an amazing kid. I, I, I couldn't have asked for better children. So I'm going to stop crying and we're going to move on. Probably not. Cause number four is, is going to make me cry too. Anyway. Um, number three, I am one of six children. I have five siblings. We were three boys and three girls. Um, my older sister is how old is she it's 2019 she'll be 47 this year is my older sister um my youngest brother is just turned 32 in november so he'll be 33 this year so they are 14 years apart um i think that's right 
Yeah, my my brother is 14 years younger than my sister, but there are six of us. Um, my parents were young parents. They they had all of their children. They actually had my 32 year old brother when they were 32. So they had six kids uh, very early in life. But I'm one of of uh, six children. <clears throat> Going into uh, random fact number four, um, I lost my mother and my brother, one of my brothers in. Like I said, this is going to make me cry too. Um, I lost my mother and my brother in 2017. Um, they were in a, in my mom's apartment and uh, there was a fire that started in the kitchen. And they, um, my mom passed away that day and my brother, my brother uh, was mentally handicapped. And he passed away about three weeks later. Um, he was in the hospital for three weeks and... He just couldn't come and overcome that. So I wish that on no one. Um, yeah, I wish that on no one. I'm going to move on. So number five, um, I was picked on a lot as a kid. Um, a lot. Uh, like I said, I'm one of six kids and uh, I have an older brother who is two years older than I am. And my older brother is a unique individual. Um, he's very bookish, very book smart, uh, loves to read, loves to go to school. He's 40, uh, he'll be 43 this, 42 this year. I'm sorry. He'll be 42 this year and he still is going to college, not because he hasn't finished, but because he constantly wants to better himself, constantly wants to learn new things, which is absolutely admirable. Um, but he was always very bookish as a child and, um, that drew a lot of, uh, of not so much bullying but a lot of children didn't understand him and because I was so close in age to him a lot of people picked on me because they picked on my brother and um didn't didn't like me because my brother was too weird you know um and that kind of leads into my random fact number six is that I'm very shy and I'm very socially awkward. Um, I don't know that I would have been shy had I not gone through being picked on as a kid. Um, we actually, I actually was born in Western Pennsylvania and we moved to Central Pennsylvania when I was in first grade. And um, I remember in kindergarten being that kid that like talked to everybody and, and, you know, went out of my way to talk to people and was like, hey, let's play this game or let's play that toy. You know, I, I don't know, maybe that's just how all kindergartners are. But um, in first grade, we moved and we moved in this during the school year. And um, it was a big change for me, uh, you know, at that age to uproot your life and move, you know, away from family and stuff. Cause all my dad's family and my mom's family uh, were in that area. Um, you know, we moved, you know, two and a half hours away from where I grew up and I didn't know anybody and the school year had already started. And I just was very shy to begin with because of the, the big change. And then, you know, as, as I was there and people got to know me, people started to pick on, on me cause of my brother and because I was smart. Um, I was always really smart as a kid and really tall as a kid too. I'm five foot nine and a half, or at least I was at one point, I think I'm starting to shrink. Um, but I was five foot nine and a half and I was always the tallest girl. It was, there was me and this one other girl in our class growing up that were the, like the tallest one year, she'd be a little bit taller. The next year I'd be a little bit taller, but we were always the tallest kids and we were, we towered over all the boys in the class and, um, Anyway, I, I just, I, to this day, I'm very socially awkward. Um, I have a different personality when I'm at work or in front of the camera than I am when you meet me in person. Um, like when I met my in-laws, I didn't talk to them for like the first two years. <laughs> Um, John and I talk all the time and we always have been very open and talking and, and so on and so forth. But, um, like, I don't think I talked to my mother and father-in-law for like the first two years that I was with my husband. <laughs> um, and we were married within the first two years. So there was that. It was, a, a, yeah, I'm just very socially awkward. If I go to, if I go out, um, or, you know, whatever, I'm just, I'm very socially awkward and, Kind of with that is my, my random fact number seven is that I do have um, anxiety and depression. And um, these all kind of tie together, number six and number seven, the social awkwardness and the anxiety and depression kind of tie together. Even like people that I've been friends with since I was a kid, um, I hesitate to like 
make plans with them because and I hesitate to bother them bother them too much because I fear that they won't accept me for who I am even though we've been friends for, like I have a friend that I met in first grade and I've been friends with her since I was six years old you know we're gonna be 40 this year so we've been friends for 34 years but um especially over the last couple of years with my depression I've like sort of backed away because I I fear that if I if I put too much of myself out there she won't like me I know it's it's doesn't make sense it's just the way my head works so we're gonna move on for that from that <laughs> um number eight um, I hate being bored. I hate it. I don't like to sit around and do nothing. In fact, I, if, if I'm sitting doing nothing, I need to go and do something. Um, even if it's film a video or edit a video or, uh, you know, just do something. I have to be doing something all the time unless I'm sleeping. Uh, you know, I might be on my phone. I might be watching YouTube videos. I might be on Facebook or I might be on Instagram, which I don't get on Instagram very often. So if you follow me on there, I'm sorry. I just, I don't go on there very often. Um, only a couple of times a week and I really don't even spend much time on there. I'm going to try to do better on that in the new year though. But, um, I really hate being bored. I just, I, I it drives me crazy. I need to be busy all the time. And, um, going along with that number nine, random fact, number nine, I've actually owned three businesses in my life, not counting YouTube because YouTube is kind of a business, but I've really not made any, like, I think in the three years that I've been on YouTube, I've made like $300. Um, I really have not made any money. And most of that's because of my, one of my other channels. Um, but I have owned three businesses in my life. I've owned a video game store. My husband and I, John and I opened a video game store actually before uh, Nicholas was born. When Neil was only in like kindergarten, first grade, we owned a video game store for about six months uh, before we had to close it. We just couldn't financially keep running it. Um, my second business, I have a publishing company. Um, I actually still have it. You probably can't see that. It says Pan Publishing on it, P-A-N-N, -N, Publishing. Um, it, the P-A-N-N -N stands for my kids, uh, Neil and Nicholas, and then the P and A are their middle initials. Um, so it just worked out that we could spell out Pan Publishing with their initials, which I thought was kind of cool. So Pan Publishing, um, we, we still have like a website. We still have uh, books out there on Amazon. I published some short stories that a friend of mine wrote, and uh, John and I published a cookbook. Um, and then my third business is my online boutique that I own with my sister that I've mentioned in a lot of my more recent videos here. It's nimonies.com. Link is in the description bar down below. Um, but yeah, Pan Publishing and Nimonies are still both active businesses. In fact, my first business, um, although the business has closed, the actual, uh, um, LLC is still a registered LLC with my uh, state of Pennsylvania. Um, so technically, if you go out and search on Pennsylvania businesses, um, my name comes up three times because I actually own three businesses that are registered with the state. Um, going along with that, I actually have three YouTube channels. If you're watching me, this is one of them, obviously, Epic Beauty Fail. I also have a channel that is like my family channel. It's called Omnis Eat Vegan, O-M-N-I-S, so omnivores, Omnis Eat Vegan. Uh, we do taste tests of um, prepackaged vegan food. We do mukbangs and uh, what I ate in a day. So we actually post three videos a week over there, Monday mukbangs, Tuesday taste tests, and Wednesday what I ate in a days. Um, and we've been doing that channel for uh, three years that was actually our first channel and then the third youtube channel i have is jesse mac blogs um i i actually have been a daily vlogger for two over two years now um every single day in fact i think i don't i have never missed a day i have missed uploading but i have never missed a day of recording so um like, for example, when my mother and my brother passed away, I still recorded a video. I think it was only two or three minutes long. And I was like, I, I can't do this today, guys. I will catch up with you later. And I, I uploaded it um, or I uploaded it a day or two later, uh, something like that. But um, I've never there's only one day that I personally did not record my vlog. Um, I had a stomach flu on Easter of 2017, actually on Easter Day. Like I was in the bathroom, not good. Um, and John actually filmed that day for me. So he made sure that I still had the, a vlog up that day. Um, so I have, I have filmed every single day of my life for over two years now. My days, my life is pretty boring, but nonetheless, I've, I've filmed and uploaded over 730 videos. So, all right. Uh, random fact number 11, I work in 
IT, information technology. I don't know if I, I have ever mentioned that on this channel before. I think I might have. Um, my current job, I am a program manager, project manager, um, in IT. Uh, I went to college for information systems. I came out of college and was a an application developer, a programmer, a system programmer for two years before I started moving more into project management and now program management. Um, if you're not familiar with IT, maybe none of that means anything to you, but um, I do have a 40, per, 40 hour per week job full time on top of the three businesses or two businesses that are still active and my three YouTube channels. So yeah, IT. I work in IT, um, which there are not a whole lot of women in IT. Um, it, it is growing, um, but the um, the mix of man men to women is um, not 50-50 in IT. So, number 12, I love animals. I love them. Cats, dogs, I, I, lo I, I love animals. I don't have any cats because I am allergic. So I guess that could be a di another one, but that's not one of my 30, 30 random facts. But um, I am allergic to cats. I would love to have cats, but um, I just can't. Um, I've looked into how I could have cats. Uh, apparently, it's actually the, the cat dander that you get allergic to if you're allergic to cats. And if you, like, bathe them more often and, and you can have certain cats have less dander than other cats. But... John doesn't is not a huge fan of cats though. So we have no cats, but we do have two dogs. We have Wednesday and Buttercup. If I can, I'll put pictures of them here. Um, they're not very photogenic, but uh, Wednesday and Buttercup. I think Wednesday's in here right now. Yes, she is. She's sitting over there on the chair um, uh, sleeping. Buttercup's downstairs sleeping. But um, I do have two dogs. Buttercup is a rescue. We, we got her through a local rescue here in Pennsylvania. Um, Wednesday, we did get at a, a pet store. And I'll be honest, we will never again buy a dog from a pet store or a breeder. We will always get a rescue um, from this point forward. Um, Wednesday has a lot of anxiety. Um, and I, I really believe that's probably because of the way she was bred and, and raised. She's, she's a little, she's a nine pound nothing. Um, she's a Boston Terrier pug mixed. Um, and uh, Buttercup, we don't know what she is. She, like I said, she was a, uh, a rescue. Uh, they told us that her mother was because they had mom. They didn't. They didn't. Don't have dad. But they said mom was a um, mix of a pug and a chihuahua. And they thought dad was a mini mini pincher. But Buttercup is forty pounds, so I think they got that wrong. But nonetheless, both of my dogs are everything. Um, they're the. They're. Uh, I, I love them to death. Uh, number 13. So I said on number 12 that I love animals, but I hate spiders. <laughs> I hate spiders. And it's not so much that I hate them like outside. If they're outside, they can live their life. They can live their best life outside. I am good with that. But if they come inside my house, inside my dwelling or inside my car, that is not good. And I have like a spidey sense. Like I can walk into the dining room and all of a sudden I'll be like, there's a spider up there on the ceiling. You know, I mean, it's 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 weird. John John's even mentioned he's like, how did you even know that it was there? But like, I have this weird spidey sense that I will like sense a spider in my presence, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, there's one over there on the on the wall. You know, get it and get rid of it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I I'm not a fan of spiders. They just give me the willies. I don't I don't like them. And like thousand leggers, I don't, I'm centipede millipedes, whatever they're called, their real name, but I call them thousand leggers. Um, I really don't like them like at all they i really don't like them and john's like but they kill spiders and you don't like spiders so we should keep them and i'm like mm, no uh anyway number 14 um i get the sense of deja vu a lot um i will tell you that i have had dreams that have come true unfortunately not the best dreams uh i, I can give you one here really recently i dreamt of a specific situation where I was standing in a cubicle in my office talking to someone. Um, I didn't recognize the person. I had never met the person before when I had the dream, but like two or three weeks later, I was in the exact situation with the exact person that I had dreamt of and I had never met him before. Um, but like I was standing there and I was talking to him and all of a sudden I got this really crazy feeling of deja vu and I thought about it for a couple of minutes and I'm like, oh my God, I, I literally dreamt this, this exact situation like two or three weeks ago. Um, and that does happen. And sometimes it's months. Like I will have a dream and then like two or three months later, I'll get the really strong sense of deja vu. Um, I don't know. It's just really weird. I wish I would dream that I won the lottery. 
that would be nice um number 15 i am an aries my i my birthday is at the end of march i am an aries um yay uh and this is kind of where i um am a little bit different with the, the some of the facts i said earlier about being shy and socially awkward like i said before our move i remember being very outgoing and like i would just go up to people and talk to them and but and i think that's partially like my aries characteristics um but like you know nature over nurture kind of a thing my nurture kind of overtook my nature but anyway i am an aries um I, you know aries are very driven um there's some thing, some jokes on youtube about like oh my gosh it's aries season watch out everybody um yeah I, i'm an aries and that leads me into number 16 which is i was born the day after tmi and some of you might be watching this being like too much information what the heck does tmi stand for uh tmi is three mile island um march 28th of 1979 my birthday is march 29th um the uh three mile island is a, a nuclear power plant here in central pennsylvania now i was born in western pennsylvania if, if you remember i said that a couple minutes ago um i was born in western pennsylvania but i was actually induced like my 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 mom's doctor thought it would be a good idea to induce labor the day after a uh, nuclear meltdown in central Pennsylvania. Yeah, I was born the day after TMI, and I I have told people told people that like who live in this area. I I live in central Pennsylvania, and not far from where TMI is. So if you mention TMI, people know. Um, but I've told people, yeah, I was born the day after TMI, and they're like, oh, that's what's wrong with you. So just a fun little fact. Um, number 17, I really don't watch TV, like at all, for years. Um, I used to watch TV. I, I used to watch movies. I don't watch movies so much. We're, we're hoping to change that in 2019. Um, <clears throat> John and I have sort of made a deal that we're going to try to do a date night once a month in 2019. And probably that will include going to the movies because he likes going to the movies. I do too, but... Um, not as much as he does. Um, but I just, I just don't watch TV. I don't have time for it. Um, I'm always doing something. And even when I do sit down and watch a movie or watch TV, typically I will have my phone in my hand and I'm looking at something on my phone. Um, or, you know, something else or, you know, whatever. I, 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 TV for some reason just does not hold my attention. I used to, when I, when I did watch TV like three or four years ago, before I really got into YouTube, um, I would watch like HGTV was like my favorite channel, but nowadays I, I don't even turn the tv on we have a tv in our bedroom and i don't think we've turned it on in like two years it just sits there collecting dust so there's that um number 18 i was diagnosed as type 2 diabetic in may of 2018 um i actually took that to heart very much and I, if you go back and look at my videos from early of 2018 you can see that i weighed significantly more if you're new to my channel um i i've lost just about 55 pounds uh since july because we went on vacation in june and i really didn't change my diet or anything until after we got back from vacation in july so i've lost about 55 pounds since july of 2018. um i was full-blown diabetic when i had my blood tests in may and my last blood tests in december show that i am managing my diabetes 100 percent successfully with diet so i'm very proud of that um i don't take any medicine i and like i said my my T blood tests in December showed in the normal non-diabetic range. Now, am I still diabetic? Yes. Um, uh, on Christmas, I ate sugar and I took my blood sugar, you know, two hours after eating blood sugar or eating sugar and my numbers were off the charts. Um, hundred percent. They weren't even in the healthy, like in the, the healthy range for diabetics even. So I am definitely still diabetic, but I do manage it with my diet. Number 19, I don't drink. It's not that I have anything against drinking. John drinks. Um, he has a beer or two several days a week um, or a glass of wine or two glasses of wine. You know, he doesn't get drunk, but he does drink, you know, several days a week um, in the evenings when he gets home from work. Uh, like I said, nothing like he never gets drunk. He just has like one or two beers. I just don't drink. And it's not because I have anything against it. It's because... Um, I, if I drink wine, I get a headache before the one glass is done. Like instantaneously, I have a headache within one glass before I even finish one glass of wine. And I've heard that that's uh, an allergy. Um, 
I don't like the taste of beer. I might be able to drink beer. I don't know, but I don't like the flavor of beer and hard liquor. I do actually really enjoy a hard liquor, but about five years ago, I went from being able to like have two or three drinks and feeling like really calm, really comfortable, really relaxed to two or three drinks. And again, instantaneous headache. And I'm like, I don't get the calmness. I, you know, a lot of people will drink one glass of wine and feel really calm and feel really relaxed. Nope. I have one drink of wine or one drink of, of liquor and I get a really bad headache. And I'm like, why do I have a hangover after one drink? This is ridiculous. So I just don't drink. Um, every once in a while I will. Like I, I used to say I would only drink on New Year's. I, I didn't drink on New Year's this year. I just didn't drink because I don't like to feel bad. Like, does that make sense? Like who wants to feel bad? So I, I don't drink. Um, number 20, I love food, but I hate to cook. I don't like cooking at all. Um, and I don't like microwaved food. I don't think it tastes good. So like pretty much my standard diet, um, I, I will eat either a yogurt with fruit or a protein bar for breakfast. That's like my standard breakfast. I used to eat other stuff, but since I've, since I've been diagnosed as diabetic, I, I, I've, don't have as much of like I used to eat like little mini muffins and pop tarts and um that sort of thing but um since being diagnosed with diabetic I one of two things pretty much I eat yogurt with fruit or I or just fruit uh, a little bit of fruit I can't eat a whole bunch of fruit but a little bit of fruit or just yogurt or I eat a protein bar that's pretty much my standard breakfast um and then pretty much for lunch every single day I eat a salad like Monday through Friday, I eat a salad for lunch. Um, sometimes I will have like a cheese quesadilla or a chicken quesadilla. It, it depends on if I'm like filming a what I ate in a day for my, my vegan channel or not. Um, but five days a week, I eat a salad. Like today, I'm filming this actually on Saturday. And um, I skip breakfast because I'm not really a breakfast person. My, my dietitian told me I have to eat breakfast though. But I skipped breakfast this morning. So and for lunch, I had a salad. I mean, I just had a big bowl of sa like literally it was bagged salad that I weighed out, um, and salad dressing. Sometimes I'll throw cheese on it. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll throw tomatoes on it. Sometimes I won't. But that was my lunch today and my breakfast. I skipped breakfast. But we're planning on going out for dinner because, like I said, it's Saturday. So I don't know what we're going to eat. I don't know where we're going to go. So um, I didn't want to worry. I didn't want to think too much about calories at lunchtime here because um, I know we're going out to dinner. Anyway, okay. Um, number 20. I'm trying to figure out where I, where I am. Number 21. I am partially deaf. Um, I have been, I've had hearing loss since I was a child. Um, my first job when I was 16 years old, I worked at TJ Maxx. That's probably another random fact, but oh well. Um, I worked at TJ Maxx and, uh, my coworkers and my managers were always like, you need to get your hearing checked. Like you need to get your hearing checked. Um, but I am, I am partially deaf. I actually do have hearing aids. I don't have them in right now because they, these are brand new. I just got them. They actually hurt my ears, but I do have hearing aids. Can you even see that? Um, I do have hearing aids, um, that do help significantly with my hearing loss. Um, but you know, I was told that I probably like hit my head at some point as a kid and that kind of damaged my eardrums and as I get older they just um, they actually have been pretty pretty constant I've been going to the same um, uh, audiologist for the last nine years I think or six seven years the last six or seven years I've been going to the same audiologist and I, I've changed just slightly so it hasn't gone like tremendously worse but um, but yeah I do have hearing loss so um, the hearing aids I, I wear sometimes sometimes I don't Number 22, I love water. Love water. I love drinking water. I love being near water. I love swimming. I love pools. I love the ocean. Um, my dream would be to uproot my family from central Pennsylvania where we do have water. There's a river here. There's little like tiny rivers all throughout Pennsylvania, but um, I want to live near the ocean or a lake a lake. Uh, John would prefer a lake. I personally would prefer near the ocean, but I love water. If I don't go to the beach at least one time per year for vacation, um, and it doesn't even have to be like an extended vacation, <clears throat> like two days. Um, like a couple years ago, we went to Virginia Beach. We literally went for the weekend, like two days, but I absolutely love water. I have to be by water at least sometimes. Um, if I'm not, I, 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 I have found that if I don't go to the ocean, um, it actually, my depression can actually get worse. Um, 
which some people might be like, what? But th it is actually a proven fact that being near the ocean, for some reason, um, it will calm people. Like, it, there is, like, uh, scientific evidence and stuff that, like, visiting the ocean, visiting the beach, like, just seeing the ocean, hearing the ocean can actually calm people. So um, I just, I love it. And my mom did, too. My mom was a big water baby. She loved loved going to the beach, loved going to the ocean. Um, and she was never really big on getting in the water. She really liked being on the beach. But yeah, I love it. Uh, number three, I love adventure. I love traveling and an adventure to me, like we can go on an adventure on a Saturday where we literally just drive like within an hour of our home and we uh, visit that city. Um, or we try to do something in that city that's like literally within an hour from our home. So it's not like I even have to go like five hours away or even three hours away you know it's it's something where I literally could go like an hour away or a half an hour away and most of the places a half an hour from us we've already already visited um but like an hour away and go there and see like their parks and different things in this like historical stuff um it drives my son Nicholas crazy I'll be like we're going on an adventure today and we'll all get in the car and hit and and at some point during the day, inevitably, he's always like, can we be done with adventure? Like, please, mom. Um, but I love traveling. Uh, if I could if I could find a job where I could travel all the time, not fly. I don't like flying. That's another random fact. I don't like flying. But um, I love to travel. Like, if you say, you know, you have to be in California in three days, I'd be like, okay, I'm driving it. You know, I love to drive. I love to be on the road. I love to, uh, I love to travel and see things. And I feel like in a, a plane is another thing that, that physically, um, bothers me. I, I, I have problems with, um, headaches and stuff when I fly. Anyway, number 24, I have slight OCD and, um, I don't want anybody to be offended. I'm not trying to offend anybody here, but, uh, I need to have things a certain way. Um, very much so. And it's only like certain things. So like if you saw my table right now, you'd be like, Jessica, really? You have OCD? Because there's like papers and, and pens and makeup wipes and tissues. And I even have a hairbrush sitting on my table here. Um, so there's a lot of stuff on my table. But like certain things I, I'm very particular about. Like I have to have light switches in my house going a certain direction or I will change them. Um, I... I from when I got my new phone, this is a newer phone. Um, when I got my case on, I literally spent like three hours of my life trying to make sure that there was no dust between the plastic cover and the actual screen. Um, and it, it, it can sometimes be debilitating and I, God love anyone who actually has like full blown OCD on everything. Um, because I know how much it affects me and there's only certain things that really bother me um that i really need to be very particular about um and i don't know what i would do if i had like ocd about everything um it, it can be absolutely debilitating absolutely like there's no reason why i should have spent three hours getting dust out from underneath the plastic cover of my phone there's no reason for that. And I couldn't stop myself. So um, I just, I want things to be a certain way. And if they aren't, I get very upset. Um, number 25, I am a planner. I want to plan everything like way in advance. So it's January. I already have uh, a vacation for August planned out. And um, we're going on vacation with John's, John's parents and John's uh, one sister and his nephews. Um, John has two sisters, but we're going... Um, his one sister's not going to go. So we're going to going to be going on vacation with them. So I've already like started planning that. And I've already plan started planning our vacation for June, like just our family, the four of us. Um, we're still trying to decide. We thought we had something set up. But um, since we're going to the beach for a week with John's family, um, we've sort of changed our mind on what we're going to do. But I'm a planner. I, I like I have a spreadsheet on my computer with the entire calendar year of 2019. And like, everything I'm going to do on Epic Beauty Fail for the entire calendar year of 2019. Now, obviously not every video, but like I have um, like color coded where my foundation Fridays are and I have color coded where my face mask videos will post and I have color coded where my project pan updates will post. Um, so I literally have like, if I can take a screenshot, I'll put it right up here. But um, I, 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 yeah, I'm a planner. Um, big on spreadsheets big on spreadsheets. I also like Vizio too. 
if anybody knows what Visio is, it's like a spread. It's like a um, a, a drawing tool that you can use. It's Microsoft Visio. Um, I I love Visio. I don't know. I'm just weird. Um, all right, number 26. I am a very visual person. I like to see things illustrated or drawn out or like like I would have a piece of paper and I'd be like, okay, so I'm trying to explain something to you. Let me draw it out for you because I, it, for me to communicate it, I need to be able to draw it out or I need to see it drawn out or I, I would give somebody a piece of paper and be like, hey, can you, can you like map it out for me? Or I would whiteboard. Um, I am very much a visual person. Um, I I just trying to explain something to me I have a hard time visualizing it without it being drawn out so that's interesting um number 27 I really didn't wear makeup until I was 38 when I started Epic Beauty Fail um I would wear makeup on occasion I would wear it to like like a wedding or a baptism or Christmas service or you know special things you know what I mean like something where or like um our anniversary i would get dressed up and put some makeup on but i never wore foundation never i didn't own foundation like at all um and i would pretty much put a little bit of eye makeup on and that would be it every once in a while i would put lipstick on um i had never really liked lipstick i still i st i I was gonna say I still don't like lipstick. This lipstick that I have on actually right now is really comfortable. This is Bare Minerals Gen Nude uh, Matte Lipstick. It's very, very comfortable. Other lipsticks is, are not, not comfortable. So I don't like them. Um, but I would very, very rarely wear lipstick, but pretty much I would just do an eye look. I would put like one shade of eyeshadow on my eyelids and put on mascara and that would be it. Um, but I really wasn't into makeup until I was 38 years old. 37 technically, but basically 38. Uh, number 28. I am, <laughs> I am really laid back. Um, I'm flexible in things that need to happen, but I'm going to tie this into number 29. I can get really riled up really quickly if you rub me the wrong way or if you make me mad. So, um, like I've been in instances in work situations before where somebody will be like, Hey, I want to do this and I want to do that. And I want to do this. And I want to do that. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. And then they finally get to a point where I'm like, no, absolutely not. And this is why. Now I can, I can definitely direct people. I can tell them that they're doing something wrong or to tell them that they need to be doing something different, maybe not wrong, but just doing something different. So, um, I am pretty successful as a project manager and keeping people like moving in the right direction and getting things done. Um, but I'm also very relaxed in some ways too. I'm not going to be like really overbearing and be like, you must do this and this and this and this. And, um, but yeah, if you make me mad though, like, watch out <laughs> i'm italian irish yeah watch out and then number 30 if you haven't noticed throughout this video i talk with my hands a lot like a lot a lot um i'm constantly doing something with them i like even at work i need to have a fidget that's that's one of the beauties of having like a pop socket like when i when i was at uh my last job i literally would sit in meetings and just like move my pop socket up and down or i would sit my my phone on the table and like spin it on the pop socket um i just i i i need to be doing something with my hands so or i might be sitting there holding a pen and like putting the pen in and out or <laughs> Here's my pen with Nimini's Boutique on it. I might be like, you know, clicking my pen, which annoys people like really fast. So I try not to do that. But here's another pen that I have here where like we'll click in and then click out. That one's not quite so loud and I can make it softer. So like I would sit in a meeting and I'd be like, okay, down, up, down, up, down, up without too much noise. Um, so I, I'm, I'm always like, I, I need to have some sort of fidgety thing that I can have myself be busy. Otherwise I'm talking with my hands all the time. So yeah. That is 30 random facts about me that you didn't know before, plus a couple extra thrown in there. I can't even remember how many extra ones I threw in there as I was talking about these things. But um, yeah, all the things you never wanted to know about me. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to do something a little bit fun and uh, not so like, you know, here's all my makeup kind of a thing. Although I do like those videos. That's what I watch all the time anyway. Um, I watch makeup videos all the time. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I uh, If you enjoyed it or if you enjoyed me, my personality, whatever, please hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos or don't hit the bell, just hit the red subscribe button. Um, 
And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. What are some random facts about you? If you feel comfortable sharing, of course, you don't have to. Uh, you could just be like, wow, Jessica, I never knew you were socially awkward. <laughs> Or, wow, Jessica, I didn't know that you worked in IT, you know, whatever. Um, leave those in the comment section down below as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.